straight out from us. He's in the trees, and he is coming towards us. So there you go. Yeah, let's see if we can get his number. more 
it was phenomenal. Oh, oh. You can see him a lot of times, they'll circle around and give you a second chance. What makes a noise when they, when they fly? Because we have one that buzzes. Uh, you can hear the wind uh, go, uh, uh, you can't hear that sound going through their feathers. Uh, there's an author in one of the books that says he calls it the wing song, uh, the condor. It's a great show today. Oh. So they take the chicks once the eggs hatch, huh? Number seven, all right. If you see the number, remember it. Meet me up by the dominance going on this afternoon. Um, I'll tell you a little bit more about that particular bird. Uh, but uh, once they hatch, we put them in the incubator. Same type of incubator that we use in hospital for our own babies. And the only light is in the incubator itself. Uh, what we do with these incubators, we, we set them in a dark room. We surround them with a dark curtain, and to me, they look it looks a lot like an old-fashioned election booth. And there's even carpeting on the floor. So when the folks go into these rooms, they are not allowed to make any noise whatsoever, and they will play a tape of natural sounds that the bird would normally be hearing. The reason they go through all this trouble is something that scientists call imprinting, where during a very critical period of time, what a bird or an animal sees is what they think they 